Leo, it feels like Spirit has a timely message for you. There's something that you're working on or you're thinking heavily about and there's an answer coming through for you, but it might not be the answer that you anticipate or expect. I was sitting here working with Pisces energy, planning to read for Pisces, and in came a message for you. And the message I got for you is that there's more than one way to skin a cat. I don't like that saying. I don't use that saying. I very rarely hear that saying because I love cats and I try not to put myself in an energetic field in which that saying would be said. <laughs> but lo and behold, it came through for you. And that saying means that there's more than one solution to a given problem that you're working on or there's more than one answer, there's more than one way to look at something. But because it came in through that phrase with the cat, skinning the cat, and you're a cat, Leo, I feel as though there's two things happening here, the double message. The first thing is there's something that you're looking at and you need to look at it in another way, in an unexpected way. There's some change that needs to happen in your perspective. And then the second thing is that is that someone's looking at you uh, I don't know why, I don't know why yet, but they're thinking about different ways either to get your attention, to have you surrender to something that they want you to do or surrender to something that they want you to believe and think. I'm hearing and even say yourself, they want you to say something. So they're kind of scheming or planning how they could get this to happen and they're thinking about multiple ways they could get you to do this. So we're going to look at those messages and see what else comes through. The energies that are supporting you, I have Believe in the Impossible with Blue Moon. And the energies challenging you, adjustments are required. And this makes sense with the message for me. There's something here definitely that can happen, that you want to happen. And you may even think it's impossible, but it's definitely not. You just need to tweak it a little bit. You need to think about another way of going about something. And for some of you, you need to let something kind of just flow. You're trying really hard to make something happen. And it's almost like Spirit is saying, surrender to the flow there seems to be some kind of overthinking happening. I also feel like for those of you that resonate with the message that there's someone who's trying to get you to do something, you're not wrong, but concentrating heavily on that or trying to figure out what that is or how to avoid it or how to combat it is a misuse of your energy, meaning your energy would be better put somewhere else it almost feels like focusing on that is a little bit of a distraction and that could be the intention of the person is to distract you from something that you're working on but we are going to talk a little bit more about it to hopefully clear it up and and give you some guidance around that uh, but if this message isn't for you or it doesn't resonate that's okay um, but let's get in and see what else we get for you. Leo, I'm going to use a couple decks, so we'll layer up. I'll put all the names of the decks in the description box around. I also got the message, stop and look around you. Stop and look around. Perhaps the solution that you're seeking or the answer you're seeking is in your immediate vicinity. You don't need to go far to get what you need. Some of you are thinking about traveling far to get something and you don't need to, it's right there. The letter P could be significant, the letter D. Stop and look around. Be aware of your surroundings, Leo, because there's information for you there or things that you could access that would help you. Leo, I got interrupted there. So some of you might get interrupted. There could be a knock on your door or there could be a phone call or a message coming through or someone demanding your attention like within the next 20 minutes or so. And uh, this could be a person or a interruption that's linked to a situation that feels like a heavy weight on you. And there's something about deciding what you prioritize uh, more consciously, that will be helpful for you to eliminate these distractions or interruptions or interferences. So, you know, putting things on do not disturb or 
a note on the door or something like that could help you eliminate some of these distractions. That's a side message for someone. So I want to get one of more of these cards and see what else we can get with surrender for you, Leo. Manifest self. Ooh, look at this beautiful orange color. Something about your sacral chakra could be significant. This is reminding me of a creamsicle. <laughs> it really looks like that to me. Perhaps there's something about childhood that you're thinking about recently or that's important. Manifest self. Surrender to manifesting a new self, a different self. Hmm. If you're seeking change, the change is here. The change is right around you. You don't need to do anything too drastic in order to experience that change that you've been seeking. Let's get into the tarot and, and I'm also gonna use these oracle cards to see what else wants to come through. I wanna find out more about this phrase that I was given, skinning the cat. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to someone else? Well, first of all, let's see the energies of someone outside of you. What can you tell me about the energies outside of Leo spirit? Hmm. There's, yeah, it's weird. Um, it's like someone's frantic or discombobulated, unorganized. Okay, let's see. The philosopher, corridor, reversal in reversed. <laughs> okay, uh, spring in reverse, and the visionary. few things someone could be trying to piggyback off your energy leo okay you have some good ideas uh or you have a lot of strength and there's something about your energy that is uh, alluring to someone or inspiring to someone but they could be trying to uh, avoid working on themselves and instead trying to become you okay that's for some of you for others of you this person outside of yourself is a very deep thinker but their thoughts are narrow. They're not expansive. They have a hard time entertaining new ideas or thinking outside the box. This is a like a narrow-minded type of energy here with the corridor and philosopher. They have a hard time seeing things from different perspectives. And this blocks them from creating new ideas. Although there is something about them that is a visionary. Perhaps they even have psychic intuition. But it's very narrow. It's like they only have access to a certain amount of information. Hmm. So maybe this is somebody who um, wants to know how you can access different channels of information. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Right. There's more than one way to skin a cat. But it's like this person is trying to figure that out, but they're having a hard time. It's something about who they are, like their personality, the way they approach situations. They're having a hard time seeing multiple options. But they're trying to get you to do something. What are they trying to get Leo to do? The dreamer fire. I'm hearing invest in your dream. Evolving technology. Upgrading your life may be necessary now as you have outgrown your old ways. See, I feel like this energy is seeking growth via you. And I think we've had this message before for you. There's something about you being a leader and your courage. This could also be another Leo you're dealing with or someone who has Leo in their chart. But it feels like you're the star and they want to hitch a wagon. Even if, yeah, I don't know, there's something like that. Terror. I 
This person searching terror in the journey, they're scared of going on their own journey. They're scared of manifesting themselves. Okay, I don't know why you need to know that or who that is for you, but it seems to be very significant. This person is trying to figure out more than one way to get to you, but they're having a hard do time doing that because it's not like in their programming. It's not really their personality to think expansively, which means to me, you probably do think very expansively. You believe in the impossible. And in order to get the impossible, in order to manifest what you want, there is an adjustment that's required, but you have the expansive mind and know and know how and skill to make those adjustments. You surrender to the flow to make those adjustments happen. This person cannot surrender to the flow. If this is about a relationship, for someone here ascending you are making a leap in consciousness now let go of anything holding you back this person feels like you're letting go of them because you're ascending and they're trying to find a way to you with this corridor and philosopher but i feel like you're maybe not at the end of this corridor you're like over here on the side oh so maybe that message look around you is speaking to them as well. So this this other energy could be an aspect of yourself as well, a self that's in the shadow or self a part of yourself that you're having difficulty with. Uh, but it's like they need to look around themselves. Or maybe you need to look around yourself to see where they are. Okay, I feel like they're limited in their resources in some way. So let's get into the bigger message for you, Leo, and see what else is going on. I hope this is helpful. Three more. The Defender fell out. Okay, I'm going to put them all down, so we'll go through them together. For Leo spirit. The hangman. Let's put that with the defender. For Leo. I'm hearing something about a home country. I don't know what that's referring to your home country okay so your overall energy leo we have the queen of swords and the ancestors the ancestors in reverse here well it's only ancestor it's not plural so perhaps you're cutting your home country oh interesting Perhaps you're severing ties with someone in your family or some aspect of yourself that's linked to an ancestry. I, possibly. This person who's having a hard, hard time accessing uh, multiple avenues or figuring out one more than one way to answer a question or solve a problem could be someone that you're cutting ties with their limited vision i also feel like you've been defending yourself from this energy for a long time seeing um like an older man here mm -hmm. i feel like for a lot of you there's something you just don't want to be linked with anymore you are trying to surrender to a new self to manifesting change for yourself. And someone else is trying to get you to surrender to them. 
Tell me more about the ancestor. Spiraling up. You are on the verge of a lucky break. Take risks and be on the lookout. Look around you for a leg up. Okay, so there's also a message here about looking around you. Everything you need is right in your vicinity. And with the ancestor in reverse, you could be looking to the past for some clarity, for some answers. And your overall energy right now is, I'm not doing that anymore. There's other places for me to look than the past. I'm ascending from my ancestors. I'm ascending from my own past. I'm ascending from someone else who's in a narrow corridor. I've spent a long time defending myself and my position and my perspective. And it's not serving me to defend myself anymore. Yeah, so I feel like you finally gave up on something or you're giving up on something. Foresight. Okay, what you don't see coming, the philosopher again, and the four of cups. It's like once this person hits a wall with their reasoning or their logic and things stop making sense for them, they just give up. They're just like, um, they don't try to question, oh, well, that didn't really work out the way I thought it would. Let me try a different solution. Or maybe I thought Leo was this person, but it turns out they're not. So let me rethink it. Let me revise my, my thoughts about the whole situation. No, instead of this, this person just says, that's the end of my thinking on that. I'm not going to try to figure out another answer. I'm not going to try to figure out another solution. That's just that. I give up. They could also be trying to get you to give up and trying to convince you to see things one way. Yeah, we're dealing with, Leo, we're deal dealing with someone who has a very narrow mind. They're almost dogmatic and rigid, yet they do have intelligence. They are a deep thinker. They do have a vision, but it's kind of like a dictatorship in their world. Their way or the highway, perhaps, or they brush off any other visions that might challenge their own. And there's something about your expansiveness and your courage to defend your position and your vision that this person has a problem with or it unsettles them in some way. And I feel like rather than trying to follow you into an expansive field of thought, they're trying to follow you and at the same time kind of like narrow your field of thought. I don't know how that is. They want to follow you, but they want to also dictate your path. Maybe this person is literally following you on social media or something like that, but they want to narrow in your vision. And it feels like it's because they can't see another way. Or seeing a larger more expansive way or different possibilities threatens them in some sense the adjustments that are required are like beyond their purview is like they cannot imagine fathom what those adjustments could be this person lacks a certain level of creativity and faith and trust in themselves and maybe even in you making magic. Whatever you touch turns to gold and you manifest like the powerhouse you truly are. That's you with manifest self. See, you surrender to your power, to your ability to manifest magic. So, 
high tides. You may be feeling swamped, but the shore is within sight. Just keep swimming along. And perhaps you're dealing with somebody who you need to understand where this person is versus where you are, or you need to make a decision about what you want to do here because I, I'm getting keystone. There is one last piece to put into place. You have the power to bring things together. Do you want to continue working with this person or talking to this person or having this person around you if they're constantly trying to narrow your vision or like rein you in in some sense? Let's see what your opportunity is. Greed. That's interesting because I got a vision, I didn't say it, but I got a vision of uh, Wizard of Oz and I was thinking about the lion there and the lion uh, represents courage in the Wizard of Oz and he wants courage, that's what he's lacking and what he has a lot of is greed. And I feel like this is someone's projection of you. They could feel like you're very greedy Hmm. Two of Swords. And you have the opportunity to make a decision that it's not proves them otherwise, but it will prove them otherwise. But that's not why you make the decision. You make a decision on something that's important to you. And you make that decision because that's what you truly want to do. But in doing so, the decision you make demonstrates to this person that you don't have this desire or lust for greed that they think you do. This is a very interesting message. I feel like you're dealing with a quite a complex situation here. How do I say that? This person wants you to make a decision to share something with them, your energy or something you're working on or your life or your love or whatever. And you're going to make the decision or you have the opportunity to make the decision to say, yes, I will share it with you. But then you are entering into a contract with someone who has a narrow vision or you have the decision to say, no, I'm going to go my own way. I'm manifesting a different self. I'm going to surrender to faith, trust, and believing the impossible and that I can have something expansive in my life. And for some reason, when you choose that, well, how is it going to show this person that you're not greedy? Because it would seem to me that they would think that would be selfish. So let me see. Six of Wands, Justice. And the nine of swords, there's something about the decision you make to do something for yourself and not box yourself in that shows this person that you actually have made the right choice for yourself. You chose the more balanced approach and you're victorious in choosing the more balanced approach. Despite your anxiety and despite your fear, you still go forward believing in your own vision, your broad vision. And in doing that, it reveals someone else's anxiety to themselves. So you make the right decision for yourself and that becomes very clear. And in choosing not to box yourself in or narrow yourself into some contract with this other energy, they realize that had you chosen a path with them or done things their way, you wouldn't have had the success that you're currently having or going to have. And this is where the karmic lesson comes into play because in seeing your victory, they could have the opportunity to have an epiphany of the way they've been limiting themselves. Okay, so let's see your challenge. The Guardian and the, and the Eight of Wands. Your challenge is to get out of this energy, the Defender and the Hangman, is to continue to defend your position to this person. Less talk and more action is what you need. Or maybe it's... An, 
less thinking about what you want to do, what you're going to do, and just go ahead and do it and know you're protected. Don't try to convince anybody of your goal or your vision, especially if they're, they have a problem with it or they can't, you know, they can't open their mind. Don't waste your energy and your time with that. That's your challenge. This could be someone who wants you to write a large proposal for them to prove your idea is going to be successful. And Spirit's saying, don't do that because they have a narrow mind. They can't see your vision, even if you explain it to them. Or um, uh, someone that you know very personally, maybe a relationship or a friend or something like this, and you're trying to defend your position on something. And Spirit's like, they're not going to see it because they can't. From where they're standing right now, they can't see your side. Okay? So your advice, Leo, ascending, you are making a leap in consciousness now. Let go of anything holding you back. You are ascending. And we also have the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa! Which is also a card of ascension. It's like ascended. <laughs> The Ten of Pentacles. So you are ascending and you are almost there. You are right there to building something very unique and special for yourself. Something that has a solid foundation. And that is, I know I've said this word so much, but it's really the word that just keeps coming to me. Expansive. It's like you thought you were going to open a little business. Well, you're building an empire instead. You thought you were going to just, you know, meet a partner and... You know, be you and your cats, which no no problem with that, in my opinion. But <laughs> instead, you have a whole safari or you have lots of children and grandchildren or whatever you want. You know, there's a lot of success here for you. And Spirit is saying, keep going towards your vision. Nothing is impossible. Don't let anything hold you back. And don't let the narrow mindedness of others put you down and get you to think that your ideas aren't worthwhile or you can't have or do anything that you want to have and do. Okay, I'm gonna look at what's gonna manifest in the next three months for you, and then I'm gonna go into an extended. If you're interested in the extended, link is in the description box below. We're just gonna go deeper in and see what else is coming up for you. Dig into these energies a little bit further. But if you can't come to that or you don't want to for whatever reason, then just trust that spirit gave you the info you needed right here. So what's manifesting in the next three months for you, Leo? Mysteries. Appreciate what you don't know and seek to learn more before you make a decision. And the hermit. Ooh, this is enticing. So some information is coming into your awareness and it's getting you to look further within. See, I feel like Spirit is saying all the answers are within you. You have multiple solutions to multiple uh, problems that you have or issues. There is more than one way for you to go about some things. And you just have to do some creative thinking about how you could unlock certain doors for yourself. And anything you feel you don't know... Look at it as a mystery, as something to discover, as something to learn, something to be excited about rather than a roadblock. Because for this other energy, when they have a mystery come across their path, they just like, oh, it's too much work. I'm not going to do it. It doesn't fit my vision. It's not real. It's not significant. And Spirit says, don't fall trapped to that closed mindedness. Treat every obstacle, every challenge, every new piece of information as a mystery for you to learn more. And some of you are going to have a big, big decision to make. And Spirit is saying you need to find out a little bit more information before you make this decision. But you have all the information. So you might have to figure out more about what it is that you really want. What do you want in eight months, five years from now? What does your plan look like? And does making a decision in this direction or that direction help you get to where it is that you want to go? So you're going to have to do some internal thinking and planning about and feeling about what it is that you want to do next and what information you need to make the best decision possible for the highest good of all. 
All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. I hope that helped. I love you so much. I'll see you next time.